like we always do at this time, ladies and gentlemen. What up? It's your boy Casa Dom. Just sitting here, just looking at this young thug. You know, I don't really even follow the young thug shit that much because I already know it's probably not going to end too good for young thug. And if it do, it was just all part of the script. Young thug co defendant throws in the towel, plead guilty ahead of trial. So now another one of the young thug co defendants done took them. Um, the same plea deal, you might as well say that um, Gunner took. Um, and they tell him the same exact thing that if somebody called him for trial, he got to come testify and he got to tell the truth. But who is they to say who, what the. Can you please state your true and correct legal name? Say it again. Can you please state your true and correct legal name? Mine's Eddie Peavy. And are you the same person referred to on the indictment you just signed of 22 SC 183572? Did you just sign that indictment? Yes. Okay. Are you at this time taking or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medicine? No, ma'am. How old are you? 23. And how far did you go in school? I went far. What's that mean? Like, I did 12. You went to 12th grade? Mm. Did you graduate? Like fifth grade. Mm. Is that a yes? I mean, yes. Okay. Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. With respect to indictment 22 SC 183. 572, how do you plead to conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. How do you plead to theft by receiving stolen property? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. How do you plead to violation of the Georgia Controlled Substance Act in count nine? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. How do you plead to violation of the Georgia Controlled Substance Act as to count 10, guilty or not guilty? How do you plead to possession of a firearm by a convicted felon? How do you plead to participation in criminal street gang activity? How do you plead to armed robbery reduce? So if he pleading guilty and saying that he was a part of this street gang and the crimes and all this, what do that, where do that leave Jeffrey? So we're not going to call him Young Thug. We're going to call him Jeffrey, his name, Jeff. We're going to call him Jeffrey. That's his name, y'all. To robbery by force. How do you plead to hijack a motor vehicle in the first degree? Is this guilty plea freely and voluntarily given with a full knowledge of the charges against you? Do you understand that you have only a limited right to appeal this guilty plea conviction? Do you understand that you have only four years from today's date for the felony charges to file a habeas corpus petition challenging the voluntariness of this guilty plea? Yes. Your Honor, had this case proceeded to trial, the state of Georgia would have proved beyond a reasonable doubt that in late 2012, within the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta, Georgia, that YSL, who claimed affiliation with the National Blood Gang, was formed. The founders of that organization were Jeffrey Williams, also known as Young Thug, also known as Slime, Walter Murphy, also known as DK, and Trontavia Stevens, also known as Tick or Slug, that this organization uses a number of different identifiers, including colors, clothing, tattoos, and hand signs in order to show affiliation with that organization that this organization is part of the enterprise, which is Young Slime Life, and that this defendant was a member of this enterprise and conspired to and associate together with others for the common purposes of illegal, excuse me, illegally obtaining money and property through a pattern of racketeering activity and conducting and participating in the enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity and furtherance of the conspiracy he engaged in a number of different crimes, specifically, Your Honor, two of those crimes in racketeering activity, first being one occurring on May 8th, 
2012 at 151 Cleveland Avenue, which is in southwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30315, which is an Exxon gas station in what is known to be the Young Slime Life Gang territory, that Mr. BB was a part of an undercover sting operation at that gas station, Officer Applewhite, A-P-P-L-E-W-H-A-I-T-E, -E, was operating in an undercover, undercover capacity he went inside of, inside of the gas station and encountered the defendant. Officer Appleway asked to purchase marijuana. The defendant asked how much, to, how much marijuana. Officer Appleway advised he wanted $20 worth. The defendant then went to the area of the store, weighed up the marijuana, and gave that marijuana to Officer Appleway. Once the, once the sale was completed, other officers came in and placed Mr. Beebe under arrest. When they placed him under arrest, he was found with marijuana on his person, as well as a gun. The gun was then ran and it came back stolen out of East Point Police Department from a car break-in in August of 2019. Additionally, Your Honor, about a year and six months later, in October 12th, 2021, this defendant, along with co-conspirator Christian Eppinger, were um, at 47 Cleveland Avenue, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, which is also in the Young Slime Life Gang Territory. While there, the victim, Mr. Darius Smith, was at that um, location, which is a park next to a library. Um, Mr. Smith was speaking with a friend of his, and while speaking with that friend, there were two black males um, described. One had a blue and black ski mask, with a black and silver handgun. The other suspect had a black ski mask with a black handgun. They approached Mr. Smith and stated to him, give up that chain. Mr. Smith had a large chain that was very identifiable. That chain was a diamond encrusted chain that looked like a house. It said track commander on it. They also took additional jewelry um, and other items from Mr. Smith to include um, earrings, a diamond and gold necklace, two iPhones, his car keys. They then went and jumped inside of his vehicle, which was a two, 2003 GMC Savannah. They then fled the location, um, fled the location after robbing him. Again, both of the individuals had guns. Uh, Mr. Smith um, initially called um, 911 he had left the location, a friend was able to take him to his brother's house, which was in Clayton County. When he called 911 in Clayton County, they advised he had to come back to the city of Atlanta. He did come back to the city of Atlanta and was able to encounter police where he reported um, what happened to him a few hours earlier. Um, during his time in explaining to the police what happened, he gave a description of one of the defendants he said that he knew or was familiar with one of the defendants from the neighborhood. He was, Although he had a ski mask on, he noticed two things, his eyes as well as his hands, and that he was missing a finger. Um, after that, um, Mr. Smith was able to um, provide to law enforcement officers social media pages of First Durante BB. This nigga dumb as hell. This nigga know he had one finger missing eye, all this shit. And then you're going to go and put on the mask with the same four fucking fingers. I said, get up, man. Like the man couldn't tell that one of your gloves ain't, one of the fingers wasn't fucking working on one of your gloves, bro. Or you had to cut that pinky off on that glove. Dudes are crazy, man. Um, wearing his chain and identifying him as the person with the missing finger that had robbed him. Um, Mr. BB was on social media promoting the chain, having the chain, some would say flossing the chain in front of the camera, which was the chain that was stolen from him. Um, further investigation into social media, um, the officers were able to identify the co-defendant, Christian Eppinger, as the other person who robbed him. Um, officers were also able to get the social media information um, from Instagram 
and they actually found on Instagram a recording of Christian, Christian Aperture bragging about robbing Darius Smith that was um, turned over in discovery. After um, arrest warrants were taken out, Mr. Beebe was arrested, interesting enough, back at that same location in November of 2021 at the same 47 Cleveland Avenue where he was arrested, um, again, arrested on these charges. And then Christian Eppinger was arrested subsequently on his charge in February of 2022 after he shot Officer David Rogers. Additionally, Your Honor, we have social media postings of Mr. Beebe and Mr. Eppinger that are a part of our overt acts in this indictment, which shows them being part of and associated with the conspiracy. Um, Mr. Beebe in Act 143 of the um, of count one of our indictment is posting a picture along with co-conspirator Christian Eppinger wearing um, what we call an, o an OTS. Um, sweatshirt, which is only the slime sweatshirt and sweatpants, again showing his association with the enterprise and the fact that he's acting in furtherance of this enterprise and to promote this enterprise, Your Honor. Um, this is some of the evidence that the state would intend to show if this case were to go, were to move forward with trial, Your Honor. Mr. Beebe, um, good afternoon, sir. Sir, did you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this case and the matters in, in indictment 23 SC, I mean 21 SC 177912 and 23 CP uh, 218502 with your attorney, Mr. Partridge, to your satisfaction? Yes, sir. And do you have any questions about any of the rights that you give up by entering a guilty plea in, in this case? Those rights were set forth on the record by Ms. Simone Hilton uh, from the District Attorney's Office. Do you have any questions about those rights you wish to ask me? No, sir. Um, do you give this plea, did you have a chance to also read and sign the indictment that I'm holding up here? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have any questions about the indictment as it pertains to you in counts 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 27, or 28 you want to ask me? No, sir. All right, I don't know if the indictment's been signed, the plea has been entered. Um, Mr. Beebe, based upon the responses that you've given during the court's inquiry, I'm going to find that your guilty plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis for your plea, and I'm going to accept your plea as tendered and is negotiated. So as to count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, this court will sentence you in accordance with your negotiated plea to 10 years to serve five years uh, with the balance um, probated. As to count eight, theft by receiving a stolen property felony, this court will sentence you in accordance with the negotiated plea to two years community time served concurrent with count one. As it pertains to count nine, violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, this court will sentence you to two years commuted to the time you've already served concurrent to uh, count one. Did I? Did I say county correctly? County to step by seeing stolen property. Yeah. All right, okay. Let me just redo that one again. That's uh, that part of seeing stolen property firearm. The court will sentence you to, that's count eight, two years community time served um, concurrent with count one. Let me go back through count nine. That's a violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. That's two years community time you've already served uh, concurrent with count one. As it pertains to count 10, violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act, this court will so send you two years of so time served concurrent with count one. As it pertains to So how much time do Young Thug get if he gets sentenced? All these niggas don't get like five and ten years, five years, they got to do ten. Then these niggas got like three years in credit, some of them. What happens if Young Thug get found guilty? They got found guilty. They not doing the rest of their lives. What make Young Thug the bad guy? Why he's the only one gonna get life if he if he gets sentenced? Count eleven is a rob and all. Convicted felon. This court will sentence you to five years to serve concurrent uh, with count one. Count twelve participation in criminal street gang activity. This court will sentence you to five years consecutive to count one. And on count twenty-seven armed robbery, this court will, will 
will follow the recommendation and allow a reduction to robbery by force. We'll sentence you to 10 years to serve five years with a balance on probation. As it pertains to count 28, hijacking a motor vehicle in the first degree, this court will sentence you to 10 years to serve five years concurrent to count one with a balance on, on probation. The special, con I'll also give you credit toward the sentence that has been a, or is going to be adjudged from November the 17th of 2021 toward the adjudicated time uh, that you may have to serve on, on a couple of these counts. Um, the state has also uh, acknowledged that they're going to pull the, or withdraw the recidivist notice so that you will be eligible at some point in time at the discretion of the Department of Corrections, as you mentioned, for to be parole eligible. I don't know when that will be. I'm just going to tell you that because that's their exclusive purview. But at some point in time, while they're drawing that notice, they will be able to consider you for parole. Okay? All right. Special conditions of your sentence are as follows. You shall abide by each and every and all terms of the negotiated plea. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. If you're called to testify by any party in this case, the state's not going to call you, but if any of the other parties call you, you have to testify truthfully. Okay? All right. So what makes some different from Gunner? Why ain't nobody dragging this dude saying, oh, yeah, he's a rat, he's a rat. They did it to Gunner Walker's Gunner had music coming out. Hmm. What happened to Virgil? Um, you can't possess any guns unless, and less than until your right to do so is restored. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. You cannot commit any criminal acts. You understand that? Yes, sir. You can't promote or allude to YSL in, in public or on any social media platform. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. And failure to abide by any special condition of probation shall result in a revocation. That means you'll come back before myself or, or another judge to determine whether or not you, you, you violate the terms and conditions of your probation. So it will subject you to a revocation, and if that revocation is proven, um, the state's telling you that they're going to ask that any remaining portion be, be revoked. Do you understand that? Okay. All right. You also acknowledge the fact that you've given up your Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments, which is a separate document which you are going to sign. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, Mr. Beebe's explained that to you. I mean, sort of Mr. Now, now, in other words, like he said, your ass get up out like you're not going to testify we need you. We, we will snatch these deals right off the table, and you're going to go down too. But if you're a Bob, you only got to do 10 years. Five you do, five out, five we watch you like a hawk, hope you mess up so we can lock you up right with Young Thug and they can kill you when you get up in there. All right, back to the jury. Do you understand what I just said? Yes or no? Mr. Partridge, yes. did explain that to you to your satisfaction? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. And um, you also agree that you'll make no attempt to assert a Fifth Amendment privilege if you're questioned on these matters. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, so if you're called later, if it's something you have to testify to, you have to testify in accordance with that, all right? All right? Yes. Okay, all right. Do you have any questions about the plea that has been entered in this? Yeah. What makes him not, what makes him so different from Gunner? He did the same plea as Gunner in this particular case, Mr. Beauty. Anything you want me to answer? Yes, sir. All right. Are you otherwise satisfied with the with the advice and counsel of your attorney, Mr. Partridge? All right. And why niggas be scared of black? Hell nah, this nigga that made me just sign my life over to the devil. Cause boy, let me tell you, theoretically speaking, his time out could be short, or his time or his plea deals could be short because if he don't agree with what they're saying and. Like they said, tell the truth. Nigga, who is you to tell me what the truth is? Y'all y'all just y'all just really speculating that he did these things. Y'all don't even have proof because right now he's in court and he's innocent to proven guilty. So how you gonna tell me what the truth is? The truth is whatever's gonna convict him, I uh, I guess. 
Do you have any questions about any of the indictment or any of the plea documents that you uh, you have been asked or have been presented to you? And do you give this? And do you give this? Let me just ask this one more time. As to counts one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight, how do you plead these particular counts under the indictment as they pertain to you? Guilty. And you give this guilty plea freely and voluntarily. Means your own decision to enter a plea this this afternoon. Yes. Okay. All right. And sir, then I find that based upon the responses that you've given and the colloquy in this case and the court's questioning of you, that your plea pleas are freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis. I'm going to go ahead and accept your pleas as tenant and negotiate to sentence you to the as um, as indicated. You're 23 years old. You've had enough trial in your life at this point in time. Would you agree? Yes. Time to have a little testimony. Time to time to be. To, to reclaim your own life, and that you can do in this case, or if you just separate yourself from the people that you that you've been hanging out with, find some new friends, find some new people that can be positive in your life, and if they don't add to your life, then you need to cut them loose, because that's the way you'll have to be able to have a decent life and a life where you won't have to worry about somebody doing this all the time, knocking on your door trying to find you. For some other reason, or also put your life at risk. So, just something to think about, okay? But um, do you have any other questions of me? All right, young man. So, in other words, dun 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 dun, dun. another one bites the dust. Please raise your right hand. I'm right now. And like I said, Mr. Beaver, you can please state your true and correct legal name. Say it again. Can you please state your true and correct legal name? Uh, Nigga, try to like him remember his name. Nigga, you remember your name like they remember your name. They're going to remember you forever because you took the deal too. Now, I'm going to say this once and I'm going to say this again. What makes him different from Gunner? Everybody was rotting Gunner back in balls and nutsack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunner is a rat because he got out of jail. All them dudes getting out of jail. What y'all think? I don't think Young Thug is really facing any serious charges from what this shit looks like. They're only giving these niggas like 10 years minimum maximum. They ain't, they ain't getting these niggas like, no, oh, you got 100 years, you got life. I mean, I think I done seen some people in here get some rough times, but not none of these shit YSL game members, boy. They, whatever strings they pulled, they tired of me tighten the motherfuckers. Voila. Shouts out to all my moderators. Shouts out to all my subscribers. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that this guy should be considered as a rat? Or do you think that he's doing what he got to do so he can get out to fight his case? That's how I look at it. And I ain't, I'm not calling him that. I'm just, I'm not saying he's a rat. I'm just saying, I just feel like he's doing what he got to do. Like he could be young thug little brother or something. I mean, um, little baby little brother or something up there. But like I said, Shouts out to Thugger. Keep your head up. Shouts out to YNW Melly. If you killed them people, go ahead and go to hell, son. They they got a place they're waiting for you. But if you know deep down in your heart you really didn't, my blessings goes out to you. My shouts out goes to Juvie and Sack Chase, a whole family, entire family, because people ain't giving these people the respect they deserve. Shouts goes out to Juvie and Sack Chase, a whole family, aunties, sisters, brothers, cousins, nephews, nieces, aunties, whatever. I salute, man. Rest in peace to all the young brothers that we done lost. Man, I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace.